Hello guys, my name is Emanuel Zati and I'm gonna show you my top three tricks for arrangement. Trick number one is start with the end in mind. What that means is start with the best part, the most important part of the track. And uh, usually in house and techno, that is gonna be the main break. That's the hands in the air moment that gets people excited on the dance floor. So what I usually do is when I jam around with the idea is I'm already starting to think about this moment, the main break. And I will arrange that first and uh, make it sound real cool, real nice, so that I already have one to two minutes um, of the most important part of the track done before I even think about arranging the whole track. That way I only need to figure out what I do before and what I do after and um, that makes the job so much more easier. Trick number two is um, tell a story. So what I mean by that is um, you should be literally able to tell the story of the track with words to a friend. Um, so, for example, with my new single, Personal Liberation, that would be first the groove comes in, gets you dancing a little bit, a vocal comes in, hypnotizing you, telling you what to do, then a cello melody comes in, um, the cello melody builds and builds and builds, more sounds come through it, the energy builds, the drag track drops back down again to only the vocal and a subtle melody and then it builds again and builds stronger than it was before it gets bigger and bigger and then boom it drops back to the beat so this way of thinking just before you start arranging it, it really gets your imagination going of how you want the track to sound like on the dance floor and just feel the way you would like it to feel and you would like it to hear. Trick number three is use decoration and variation. Um, a lot of people just use very blocky arrangements where things just stay the same all the time or elements stay the same all the time. But if you listen to real musicians play their instruments, they always, drum players for example, make little fills once in a while they change up their rhythm just a tiny bit and um, you should do the same um, and you can do that with drums you can do that with your bass line you can do that with even with your kick and you can modulate your synthesizers you can use uh, effects whatever you want to um, but it's important that every four to eight bars a little bit something happens and these are the small details that you don't hear but you can you can feel it just makes the track more interesting and it ju just sounds like you put more love into it so that's it those were my three tips uh, for arrangement and um, i hope you learned something let me know if they work for you or not and um, yeah i'll see you around bye guys